This video is made possible by Francisco Herrera Jr. at the Honda Superstore of Joliet. Francisco is a longtime car enthusiast who is dedicated to finding the perfect vehicle for you. Email him at the address on the screen or contact him with his information found in the description below. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2011 Kia Sedona LX. Up front is a 3.5 liter V6 and down below is a six speed automatic transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this Kia Sedona for multiple reasons. First of all, I have never done this generation of Kia Sedona before. Second reason is I feel like minivans are probably one of the most important reviews to do because they're meant for families and family safety and convenience is pretty important to me. But the third reason is that 2011 specifically was the first facelift for the Kia Sedona. So although it did debut at the Chicago Auto Show in 2005, 2011 was actually an update facelift year where they switched from the 3.8 liter to the 3.5 that's in this car, as well as they added the tiger nose front grille. Wow. So plenty to talk about. But before we get on to anything else, I have a website, ZachPradle.com, where you can buy stickers and other merchandise when it becomes available. You could also submit your own vehicle to be reviewed by me through a quick and easy submission form. And you get a video of your car just like this one. And you could read my behind the scenes blog to see what I'm filming before it comes out on the channel. But let's get back to that 3.5 liter V6. Well, this one actually makes 271 horsepower, which is more power than the outgoing engine. The 3.8 actually only made around 240. So you get a nice 30 horsepower bump by choosing a 2011 or later. I have to say, this thing is peppy for being a minivan. The 3.5 liter is it's ready to go. I was not expecting that. Even trying to just pull it off of the dealer lot, it was revving to go. I would barely touch the throttle and it was like, it's go time, it's go time. No, Sedona, chill, chill out. Kind of interesting to see. You don't really get that in minivans anymore because most of them are starting to drop the V6 options. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Like I said, Paraduit is a six speed automatic. It's shifting gears, doing its job, and I have no complaints. Last but not least about the drivetrain, it is front wheel drive. This generation of Sedona only ever came in front wheel drive. So don't let the Craigslist ad fool you. So how does it feel to actually drive the Kia Sedona? Well, it drives a lot like a minivan. Visibility is really good and that's always been a big plus for the minivans. They've always had very big windshields, small blind spots. They're meant to be able to be driven by anyone, short, tall, skinny or husky, you can drive this minivan. So it's easy easy to get in and out of, it's easy to see, it's easy to operate, that's what a minivan should be. With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have four gauges. Off to the left is my tachometer with speed in the center, and off to the right is my fuel and coolant temperature. The steering wheel is very plain and basic. Off to the left, I have my mode, phone options, and volume. And then off to the right, I do have cruise control settings, which is a nice little touch, especially considering the LX was pretty much the base. Off to the left, I have my climate control vent, gauge dimmer switch, and door lights on and off. Then moving out of the door, I have my power mirrors seemingly out in the middle of nowhere. And then I have my power locks and power windows down below. Moving into the center, I do get a little digital clock as well as the radio. I can have Sirius Satellite XM radio if I would like, but I have my favorites, volume to the left, tune to the right. Very, very simple, and there is no backup camera here in the Sedona LX from 2011. There is no backup camera, just so you are aware. Would be nice, but this is before that era really took off. Then I have my climate controls. I do have front and rear temperature, which are very boldly labeled, and they're these sort of turn dials, which is really, really interesting. Don't know if I've seen those in a Kia before. It really reminds me of like Volkswagen products. But I have a hazard switch in the center, and then of course, where to send it in the middle. Fan speed for the front to the left, and fan speed for the rear off to the right. I also do get traction control and my heated windshield wipers. So, really, really nice feature to defrost them. Something that's missing from modern Kias. And I do have a little cubby with an aux and iPod USB. Something that doesn't quite exist anymore, but 
This was of that era. I was in love with my iPod Touch back in 2011, so it makes sense. Then we have the shifter off to the left to finish out the center console. Very, very standard shifter. I think a piece of computer paper is more substantial than the shifter, but that's fine. And off to the right, I do have a cigarette lighter, 12 volt outlet, and a little pop-out ashtray. Then we do get two more cubbies moving down the center console. They're pull-out, they're storage, they're simple, and that's all you need. Then we do have a center console with two cup holders. So we will do a big friggin' model test here in the 2011 Kia Sedona LX, and I am happy to report that it does, in fact, pass. I am a big, big supporter of minivans passing the big friggin' bottle test because your kid has a sippy cup, a bottle, a jug, a container, a Campbell's soup can, whatever it might be. So I love it when vans can handle that and the Kia Sedona absolutely can. Then I get a little non-slip pad and two more cup holders at the back. And then we gotta talk about the seats. The seats are cloth, but they're like a very... 90s cloth where they're warm non-slip and i actually really prefer these maybe that's my nostalgia kicking in maybe it's something wrong with my butt i don't know but i actually really really enjoy these seats and i miss when seats were like this however speaking of seats the whole point of this minivan is to have two more rows of seating so let's go do some back seat reviews all right so we're in the back of the 2011 kia sedona lx and first of all knee room great not hitting the seat in front of me headroom great not hitting the ceiling. I do have my own vents here. These are climate control vents. I can twist and open. I have my own light and of course a vent over there. Now I don't get any controls for the rear climate. That's all ran up front. So if you do have adults riding in your van, they can't adjust it. They have to go, um, excuse me. Can you just, can you just, a little, just turn it a little bit. Just, I'm just, I'm just sweating a little. Just turn it a little bit. So no one loves doing that, but unfortunately I don't have that option back here. It was very, very easy to get into, especially being a bigger guy. It's not always the case with minivans, but if you have kids, it's gonna be easy to load them into car seats. But speaking of seats, let's hop into the third row and give an assessment from there. All right, so I'm in the third row of the Sedona. Not great, not particularly loving it. However, way better than most, if not all SUVs. Climbing into the back of a Tahoe or the Sequoia or the Pilot or any of these big three-row SUVs, it's always way harder because the floor is a lot taller. You have less cabin room to work with just to get into the back seat. And then the back seats are a lot of the times compromised in terms of space. This isn't amazing, but it's not terrible either. Let's hop out. We'll take a quick look at the trunk and cargo space, and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, so we're on the back of the Sedona LX pull it up here there's a little lever and then you do get tons and tons of space back here so these seats however do say stow so let's get this stuff out of the way all right so you pull this once the seats are down there you go put that down grab this in and now you have a flat loading floor. This is great if you're gonna use this as a utility vehicle, if you're gonna haul lumber, haul anything, really, really nice that Kia gave you this option. Then you can pull them up like that, pull that up. It does take a little bit of effort to do, but come here, come here. There we go. Now we have the rear seats completely reassembled again. Love that. Now we gotta talk about the looks, and this is so unremarkable, especially in the white color. Ugh, it's just, it will blend into any scenery you put it in. It might as well be urban camouflage at this point because it's just so indistinguishable. At a quick glance, it could be a Sienna, it could be an Odyssey, it could be obviously a Sedona, it could be a Pacifica, it could be a caravan, could be a town and country. Who knows? So maybe that's its superpower. And I don't think that, uh, tiger front grille is really doing it any favors but that's okay with all of that being said let's get on to my final thoughts what do i think driving the kia sedona from 2011 well i have to say in almost all aspects it's a minivan and it works as a minivan it has three rows of decent seating has big opening sliding doors easy to see out of easy to drive that's it however i am really impressed with the power i have to like spongebob 
big toe the gas pedal to keep this thing under wraps. That is something I did not have on my 2023 bingo card, that a Kia Sedona minivan would feel very powerful. But hey, it's not a slouch and you'll get to soccer practice on time. But I do want to talk about the modern Kia Sedona because they actually still produce it. However, they call it the Carnival. Overseas, this van was called the Carnival. So in the early 2020s, they actually switched it over to the Carnival. And I have to say that that was kind of a mistake because this car sort of embodies vacation, road trips. You see, living in the Midwest, specifically living outside of Chicago, where for five months out of the year, it's so cold, you barely wanna go outside, if at all. Sedona, Arizona, where this car was named after, is a highly sought after travel destination. Probably half my town travels to Sedona during the winter. It's beautiful, it's sunny year round. Driving this van with that name Sedona, it reminds me of driving through the desert. It reminds me of those little knickknack shops you see off of Route 66 and just traveling throughout the southwestern part of the United States, one of our most beautiful parts. The sort of desert landscape of New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, Southern California. That to me all has an association with good memories, good travel memories. So seeing that Sedona badge makes me reminisce, makes me happy. And so switching it over to the carnival for the American market, I don't know. I just feel like it was kind of unnecessary and kind of lame. But this van is actually unlame. It's very unlame. It's good to drive. It does everything you want and you could find these at decent prices nowadays. So while it might not be the perfect car for your red carpet premiere, it might be the perfect car for your day to day. It might be the perfect car for you, your kids and your family. Oh, and by the way, this van, 214,000 miles on it. Still going, still running like a champ. If that doesn't speak to build quality, I'm not sure what does. Huge thank you to Francisco Herrera Jr. at the Honda Superstore of Joliet. Been absolutely awesome to work with. We've been filming a bunch of reviews in the past and he is awesome. He is a car enthusiast. If you wanna check out this Sedona or anything else on Honda of Joliet's lot, please reach out to Francisco. He's super friendly and he will find the right car for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.